Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js and the TypeScript. Today we are going to learn about the how to creating the REST APIs with Node.js, TypeScript, Postgres and the type ORM. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So first of all, we will cut this one and create a new folder from the scratch okay so just put this terminal also okay so just make a directory so let's open via this paste the directory okay go to that directory done next one initialize the node.js project Done. Install the required packages npm. Done. Next step, create, initialize with the ts file. So here we have the ts init file. Let's go and just add it. Currently, it's running on. If it is take it will take time then we move to the next step so the what will the next step okay so ts config file part so once it created then we will move to the next then we have the go to the create the source directory so op open it via code i think it is installed so let's initialize with the ts config file so here we go with the npx tx init. So let's initialize this file. Okay, so you can see the initial file is initiated. So let me open via code. So it's opened. Okay, ts config file. So we have some of the settings by default. So I'm going to use my settings. Okay. Sorry, what happened? Okay, so these are the settings that you need to be enabled into your tsconfig.json file. Okay, next step is install the NodeMon. So let's install the NodeMon here. <coughs> let's configure the NodeMon. Or So where we have the packet or JSON. So let's configure the script part. So here we have the index.js main. So here we have to go with the app.ts index.js file. Here we are running in the development mode. So here we require index.ts file. Okay, so this is the compiling the TypeScript. This is ensure the build run ESLint, run the testing, run the watch test mode and generate the test coverage report. Okay, so this is all are done. Okay, next step, we have we have to go with the structuring that is source. So let's create the structure. So here we have the source folder first. In the source, we have the controllers. Let's create the controller. So now for the controllers, in controllers, we have the user controller.ts file. So let's create it. So here we have to create a new file user.ts. Next one that we have entities. So let's create the entity section. New folder entities. In, I think I have created it into a root folder. Let's move to the source one. Move source entities. In the entities, we are going to create a new file whose name is user.ts. So let's add this user.ts. Next, we have the routes in the same. Okay, so in the source, we have to create a new folder with the routes and then user routes.ts file. Okay, so create it. New file with user routes.ts. Then we have index.ts file. So let's add it. 
in the source directory so index.ps done so this is proper structure is done okay so let's create the entity user.ps so this is the entity so let's copy this and go and just create this entity so here we go with the entity parts user entities so let's paste it okay what would be the next one we have to make the controller part so user controller.ts so this is the all controllers with the CRUD operations just copy and paste that one in the controllers okay done something error is there so what it says the type string has no properties common with the find one option okay if you put any over here no let me check this i know that how to fix that issue okay so because in the, the typescript it's showing the uh, error of the id okay so just let me save this next step is we have to go with the the source routes okay so user routes so we, he have, we have to copy this one section this is the routes part so if i go to the routes here we have the routes just paste it so these are the, all the routes like get create new user get all users update user delete user save it next one index.ts file so just update this with the index.ts file okay so we have to make the create connection part also which is missing again so we are going to create that one so first index this one okay so create connection is not available right now in the type ORM so I know how to fix it so let's go and just add it over here so here we have the source then we have the type ORM.ts file so I'm going to use my type ORM over here so this is the MySQLi then I need the SQLi's part so let's copy this one so here we have to create the new config file type orm.ts into our directory so it should be in the source directory okay so here we have to source directory create a new file with the type orm.ts okay make this file okay here we have the MySQL just replaced with the Postgres. Okay, so here we are also the Postgres part is there. And here are the details of the Postgres. So the here we have to go with the Postgres. And the our host is admin. And the local host, I think the port is 5432. Let me check in my document. So the port is would be like this one. Okay. So I think this is okay for that one. Okay. So the connection part is there. Next, we have to import this one. Import this file type ORM. So here we go with the import part in the app dot. Sorry, here we have the app dot ts. So like this, import that type ORM into your index.ts file. So here we go with the index.ts type ORM. So just use this one. Connect to DP. So it will do like this. This is connect DB. But they have mentioned the create connection. <coughs> no, no, this isn't required. Just use this one app.json user routes. App is listening on the port this and uh, nothing this one. So this is, and here we have to use the connection part. Okay, so you connect DB.
okay so this is i think done the section user routes okay let's see which database we are using over here let's see that one also so we have to open the pg admin We will take a new one that is REST API part. So we will use this one. They have the tables or not schemas. Then we go with the tables we have. We have the user tables. Just make the view part. So there is no I think. So we will going to create that, that one REST API. So here we have a type ORM, just make this one to be REST API. Okay, done. So this is configuration file for the data source initialization. Okay, here something error is there. So we have to fix that one error. Okay, so let me first get repository. I think we have to use the connect. DB if I use from here type ORM where is index.ts file where is uh, controller file connect this is connect repo Let me check this one. Just give me a second. Hello friends. You can see that now the issue errors is going to be gone. So what we have to do have we have to import the type ORM. Then we have to connect DB get repository user. Okay. So all of these things. So this is a crud part. So let's check first and run the all the database connection and the things are going well or not. So everything is we have created that files and let's just run and then understand the project level. Okay. So here we go with the terminal and just run npm run dev to check everything is working fine or not connection and all. So here we have the address 3000 is already in use. So where it is in use. It's in used. But where but I haven't used it might be let's change the server port so here we have the server port index.ts let's make it 5000 okay save this and try to run okay so you can see that everything is data source has been initialized okay if i go to the table and we have the users part right so currently id and now you can see that if we go and just check the all the column rows then you will update it with the name email and the id okay done so let's do with the rest api step by step so here we have the next first part is go to the route section First routes we have the post. So let's create a one user over here. Let's post that one. So here we have, we require the which fields we are required the where we have the entities. So we require the name and the email. Okay, so name and the email make of just make a routing of the five thousand and make there is no users currently empty array. Make it a post request, send request. One data is added. Let's try to view this one. View and all rows. So one record is inserted. Let's add one more record also. So here we have a test record. Test record and uh, here we have test record. Okay, send it. One record or more inserted. Let's try to refresh that one. So here you can see that the record is added. The get request would be let's just let's simply with the get one here. You can get the list of that one. 
then we have the put request so this is get request to create user it's very simple you have to import the express request in the response from the express connect db that we have the type orm connection part so here we have the connection part okay next we have the connect the db get repository users user repository create require body then save that user any issue occur then response internal server then get all users part the, so the connect db get repository with the find return all the users else throw the error internal server error then we have a update part so let, if go to the update one so just make the id make sure it has so we will make a put request over here and make a id one and i want to change it with the new name that is developer okay that is the first id send it so developer is updated on oh, let's check the first records to be updated with the developer okay here you can see the developer is updated so this is the update part and here we go with the update user so we require the id find one where we have the id if it is not then user not found then user repository merge user require body then update the repository with the save function okay updated user which will return the next one that we have the delete user so just you require the id and make sure it should be an int integer and pass it and and call the function find one if it is find then it will remove that user else it will throw the error the user not found okay so let's try this one also go to the post one make a delete request and the user one just delete it and if i go over here user view and edit all rows so you can see the data is deleted the first id right it's currently two id so this is the full fledged crud operations using the type orm postgres node.js and the typescript any doubt any query do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day